Hi, we're here with Colette Dinnigan this afternoon at her headquarters in Surrey Hills. Hi Colette, how are you? Good, thank you. Good to see you. Likewise. <laughs> and how's everything going at the moment with your new baby and everything? Is he wonderful? Oh, he's gorgeous. You just missed the feed. Oh, <laughs> I just meeting him. Every three hours. <laughs> Every three hours without it. Yes, he's never late. Um, it's good. It's, you know, it's a lot to balance and yeah, doing lots of different things. But it's been exciting doing, especially working with Specsavers yeah, and that. Great. But that's been, I think sometimes people see it when something comes out, how busy you are, but they forget it's been a year and a half in the making. Yeah. It yeah. hasn't just been an overnight yeah. kind of branding exercise. So. Yeah. But we have been very busy with lots on our plate. Yeah, because you've had recently, I mean, you've had collaborations on the children's tutus, on jewellery, um, the lingerie is going from strength to strength, which has always been one of your signatures anyway. Um, well, I guess why now, you know, are you doing so many collaborations? Does um, it feel the right time? I, th I think, you know, I can, every single one of them, like the tutus was a one-off and was for the Australian Ballet, which I've had enormous, yep. you know, a lot to do over the years and there's been, it's a good history there and it's yep. also for a very good cause. Um, and with my lingerie, I've been doing that for the last 15 years, so I guess there's just much more focus on it and people tend to um, amalgamate, well not amalgamate, put everything together yeah. at the time, but working with Specsavers, like I said, it hasn't just been something that we thought of, it was all in the planning and yeah. the making and it's been exciting too because it's been such a great team to work with yeah. and you know, from a production point of view they're so technical, they know what they're talking about, so for me it's just really applying my design ethos to um, a product and working with them on that as opposed to having to do the whole mechanics of it. So it's been quite a pleasure actually. Yeah, great. And it's a very big collection. I understand we've got three different ranges within the collection. There's 23 styles. It's all just optical, not sunglasses, I believe. It's yeah, just point. optical. Yeah. Can you talk me through a little bit of, about each of the ranges? Well, there's the um, Carnival range, which is all about... I kind of The way I've, I've designed the collections is very similar to the way I designed my collections for Paris. Um, and the Carnival is all about colour and light and sort of it's a playfulness and it's very much about the day. It's like our resort collection yeah. or cruise yeah. collection. And so this pair, you can see it's sort of um, d it's degraded um, with the colour and things. It's got lace, bits of lace inspiration and things in there as well. And then there is the um, a romance collection, mm -hmm. which lo and behold has a lot of lace, <laughs> <laughs> which is another trademark. So it's a lot of pattern and lace and we've used just different design yeah. ideas and putting bits and pieces on the inside. I mean, all the lenses too are very different frames, so it's not yeah. just necessarily adding, um, you know, uh, ornamentation yeah. to it. And then there's a decadence collection, which is you know, very much about ornamentation and yeah. you know, little bits of beaded inlay yeah. filigree and it's very much inspired by, I guess, where I pick up things from the French markets and yeah. old deco buttons I love and the deco buckles and yeah, yeah, so it's kind of much more about night and cocktail and yeah. being noticed, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is, just looking at it today, it is very much in keeping with your with your main line. Mm. Effectively, I mean, all of your little signatures are there. The lace, the embellishment was. I mean, how important was that to you to make it absolutely true to the Colette Dinnigan, you know, brand? Well, it has to it be has because to be. It, I mean, otherwise, yeah. if it wasn't my signature, then I would, it would be yeah. designing somebody else's, and that yeah. wouldn't make sense. Yeah. And yeah. and I think, as, you know, especially for spectacles, where a lot of women do need to wear them, so it's not just yeah. a fashion accessory. So. But it's about making them look feminine and beautiful too, yeah. and especially around your face. Yeah. You know, it's so obvious, and yeah. it can be. <laughs> you know, it, yeah, no, it can yeah, be. It so can it's be. not just about being practical; yeah. it's about being pretty too. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, and so it was eighteen months working on this, and, Good, yeah. and how many? How many people were you working directly with, I guess? Um, Pamela, the head of design, mm -hmm. so very closely with her and sort of as time's gone on different departments have come in, you know, and, there's, and they've all, everyone's been so fantastic to work yeah. with, I have to say. Well, it's been, fantastic. for us, um, a pleasure. Yeah. And will this be a one-off collection or will you do new collections each year? Oh, I hope to do new collections because now I've learned so much. <laughs> I feel like I can add a lot more because yeah. it's... It's like anything, you get involved, it's when you renovate a house here yeah. and you wish you had have done it a different yeah. way from the beginning, but yeah. you learn and that's yeah. what's, it's experience, isn't it? Yeah, and apply all that yeah. new knowledge the next time around yeah. and yeah, come to, come to it from, I guess, from a more confident place. But I think the glasses are good quality, there's no compromise on that, yeah. it's just that I see there's so many other design ideas I have and I yeah. think they probably have to sort of pull me back yeah. and say, no, not it's too much, not enough, too many, <laughs> no more. Oh, fantastic. Um, now, it's, it's a hive of activity in the building today. I mean, I've popped in from time to time over the years and I've never quite felt it so <laughs> active. You're on a plane in a few days, I understand. Yes. 
Back to Paris. Back to Paris. And this is 18 years you've been doing the Paris shows. Now. I know. <laughs> I know. It makes me old. <laughs> no. <laughs> but does it, is the excitement always still there the same way? I know you've got an amazing team on the ground over there as well now that, you know, you work with and each season, is, you know, and you, you, you've got two kids now. I mean, is it just a matter of managing everything really carefully or, you know, or, or is it just always madness? I think it, it's, there is, you know, some, it's, it's like, there is a madness, but the madness should be there because the yeah. madness is the energy and, and the, the excitement and, and everyone's enthusiastic. I mean, I wasn't even meant to be doing a show. It was sort of, I was not even meant to be going actually. <laughs> and so the design room manager, Linda, suggested, you know, you should go to Paris. You weren't there last season. I said, well, I couldn't be. I was having a baby. <laughs> It's like, well, you should go. It's okay, I'll go. It's like, then somebody else suggested, well, if you're going to Paris, you might as well do a lookbook there. It's like, okay, I'll, I, I can do a lookbook there. It's no problem. And then Bradley's like, well, if you're going to do a lookbook there, you might as well do a show there. And it's like, oh, okay, I'll okay, do a show. Okay, we're doing the whole thing now. <laughs> yes. okay. So I'm doing a show in Paris, and we decided that four weeks ago. Okay, four so, weeks ago. Okay, great. <laughs> but, but we still, you know, yeah. we're doing a collection. So. Yeah, yeah. And what is, what's the kind of um, starting point for you, this collection? It was very much about a painted lady a portrait, a Dutch master. Oh. It's about, you know, very inky blues and it's quite dark, but it's that kind of, you know, always if you imagine someone who's in a still life or a portrait being painted, you never know what's underneath and so yeah. everything's kind of stitched up in very clean shapes. But as she untakes her clothes and layers, there's a lot to be discovered yeah. and you sit there in the sittings and you can learn about this lady and mm. she has a lot of different personalities and different Excellent. sides and it's oh, a great. collection. Oh, great. Excellent. Obviously still a lot of lace work and embellishment. Anything um, that we might not expect? I think there's a lot of leather embellishment, oh, yeah. Excellent. So that's her sort of darker side. Yes, mm. it is. Great. Not quite S&M. <laughs> <laughs> Won't go that far. Still that romantic. Yes. But a darker yeah. romantic. Hard and edge, that soft and hard. Yeah, nice. Great. Unexpected. Oh, great. Mystery. Mm. And um, you've had so many, it's been such an extraordinary career. I mean, you've You've appeared on postage stamps, you've won an Australian Fashion Laureate Award, you've done amazing collaborations, you're still showing in Paris. I mean, you're one of our most beloved designers in Australia. What, what, what else is there that you really want to, I guess, achieve for the business? For the business, well, personally, what I would love to do is get into interiors and design a hotel, have right. somewhere where you can kind of walk in with sand on your feet, yeah. have yeah. a sort of still luxurious mm -hmm. but very carefree and easy and I just don't think there's anywhere like that in Australia but I think maybe instead of taking that on I think I have to go and stay in one overseas but I still love to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we stay in one overseas for yeah. inspiration and then do yeah. one here. Absolutely. I but I'd I love interiors so yeah. but it's a dream. Yeah. Would you do an interiors collection do you think? Yeah, no, I'd love to, but I think, you know, I need to, like working with spec savers, yeah. with work the with glasses, have to work with somebody that's very focused and has is able to produce a good quality product and yeah. respects my design yeah. acumen. and has a great reputation yeah. that, yeah, exactly. absolutely. Oh, excellent. Well, look, good luck for Paris. It'll be fabulous as always, and um, I hope the next few days aren't too hectic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.